you could say that I bought a house with a lot of trees. And although I don't regret anything about my home purchase, there are a lot of things that I wish I would have thought about ahead of time. So I wanna share those with you today, the good, bad, and the ugly. Please excuse my very hyper dog. <laughs> so I bought this house prior to becoming a real estate agent and I bought it in the month of February. So the weather was pretty similar to how it is now. And all the leaves in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trees I have just in my backyard had pretty much fallen. And one thing that I love in homes is natural light. I thrive on having a bright, naturally lit environment. So I loved, as you can see behind me, that the light gets directly into the house. Well, little did I know that this was only gonna be the case when the leaves had fallen because for 75% of the year, I have like a full canopy covering my house and these windows did not get any direct sunlight. Another thing to take into consideration when you have trees in your yard is the fact that they could potentially damage a water line the foundation or plumbing of your house. This is something that I totally didn't think about. Now, like I said, I love my trees and they are great. I love the shade that they provide. I love bringing my hammock out to either my front or my backyard and like enjoying the pretty weather. I love that. But did I have to replace a water line my first year of owning the house? Yeah, I did. Another thing to take into consideration if you have trees on your property is the maintenance that's going to be involved with them. For example, I have my yard done every two weeks and with that, the lawn people will pick up the leaves that are scattered around. Well, you are either gonna have to pay someone to do it or you're going to have to keep on on top of that yourself. And I knew that going into it. That is the one thing I knew. Uh, but I definitely tried to save money and buy the equipment, buy the blower, buy rakes and do it myself. And I quickly realized that my time would be much better spent doing other things. Overall, like I said, I don't regret my purchase of buying a house with a bunch of trees. Now, do I wish I would have known a little bit more about these things ahead of time? Yes, I do. And that's why I'm trying to share all of these things that I've realized living in a house with so many big trees. The advantages are, like I said, I have these great hammocking trees. I love to spend time outside in my hammock, reading a book, even on my laptop when I can pull the Wi-Fi from my house. Another great thing is that Typically, my electric bill is way less in the hot months than some of the other houses in my neighborhood where they are fully exposed to the direct sunlight. So there is an advantage to that, you know, canopy that these trees are creating as well. If you have any more questions about buying houses with big trees or concerns, let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And if you currently have a house where you've got a lot of trees and I left anything out that you've learned, leave your experiences in the comments below. I love sharing knowledge and I know that people would definitely find it valuable.